It's Curtis and Son Funeral Home, Sylacauga, Childersburg. Celebration of live service for uh, Louis Pat Murphy. That service will be on Saturday, October the 14th at Sycamore United Methodist Church. Begins at 2 o'clock. And you are invited to uh, be a part of honoring Louis Pat Murphy's uh, uh, memory. Services under the direction of Curtis and Son Funeral Home. Ben L. Dennis Sr., age 80, of Sylacauga, died Monday, October the 10th. A memorial service will be announced at a later date by the family. Online condolences at CurtisandSonFH.com, Curtis and Son Funeral Home, and North Chapel directing. Mrs. Barbara Miller, age 66, of Sylacauga, died Tuesday at Coosa Valley Medical Center, Curtis and Son Funeral Home, North Chapel announcing. Funeral service for Kayla Michelle Hebson, age 21, of Sylacauga, will be Saturday morning at 11 a.m. from Curtis and Son North with the Reverend Ronnie Snyder officiating burial in the Odina Baptist Church Cemetery. Visitation Friday from 5 until 8 at the North Chapel. Uh, Ms. Hebson died on uh, October the 7th at the UAB Medical Center in Birmingham. Uh, the family will receive flowers or donations can be made to a family memorial fund in Heritage South Credit Union. Online condolences at CurtisAndSonFH.com. Kayla was a graduate of Sylacauga High School, class of 2014. She was employed by Huffam Orthodontics in Mountain Brook. Online condolences at CurtisAndSonFH.com. Curtis and Son Funeral Home, North Chapel, directing. Ralph Dwayne Thomas, age 89, of Alexander City, died October the 6th at his residence. Mr. Thomas was a World War II Marine veteran and a member of the Ray Baptist Church. A family graveside memorial service will be held Friday, October 13th at 11 a.m. from Alexander City Cemetery, Rad Day Funeral Home, Alexander City, in charge of the arrangements. Funeral service for Miss Nancy Bell Kaysen, age 93, of Alexander City, is today, October the 11th at 1 p.m. at Mount Zion Baptist Church. Dr. Wayne Wright officiating burial in the Mount Zion Baptist Church Cemetery. Miss Kaysen died Sunday, October the 8th at Brown Nursing Home. The family will accept flowers or memorial contribution can be made to the Mount Zion Baptist Church Cemetery Fund. 6577 Alabama Highway 63, Alexander City, Alabama 35010. Memorial messages can be sent to the family at RadneyFuneralHome.com. Radney Funeral Home, Alexander City, in charge of the arrangements. Funeral service for Carolyn Creighton is 2 o'clock today at Pine Grove Baptist Church with the burial in the church cemetery. That's in Alexander City, Wright's Funeral Home directing. Funeral service for Mr. Felton Wallace, age 84, is Thursday at Evangel Temple Deliverance Center in Vincent at 1 o'clock with Pastor, uh, Pastor uh, Bishop uh, uh, Lotus McGregor officiating burial in the Harpersville Memorial Cemetery. Visitation is today from 1 until 8 at the funeral home. Mr. Wallace died October 3rd at uh, Diverse Care Health, uh, Diverse Health Care in Birmingham. Online condolences at communityfuneralhome.org, Community Funeral Home, Sylacauga Directing. Miss Annie R. Ferguson, age 92, died October 9th in Birmingham. Funeral arrangements to be announced later by Community Funeral Home. Funeral service for Mr. Billy Joe Claybrook, age 78, is today at 2 p.m. from New Salem Baptist Church with the burial in the Bethlehem New Salem Cemetery. Randy Anderson will officiate the service. The family will receive friends today, noon until 2 p.m. at the church. The body will lie in state at the church uh, uh, two hours prior to the service today. Mr. Claybrook died Sunday, October the 8th in Scottsboro, Alabama. He was a member of uh, the First United Methodist Church and also uh, uh, was an Air Force veteran with uh, two tours in Vietnam. Memorial messages can be, uh, memorials can be made to a donor's choice. Memorial messages can be sent to the family at RadneyFuneralHome.com, RadneyFuneralHome directing. 
Funeral service for Jackie Cook Benton uh, Victor, age 88, of Sylacauga, is today at 11 a.m. from the Chapel of Randy Smith Funeral Home in Sylacauga. Pastor J. Patrick McDonald and the Reverend Randy Hagan officiating burial in the Elmwood Cemetery in Birmingham. Mrs. Victor died Saturday, October the 7th at Mountain View Lake Retirement Village. Visitation today, 10 a.m. until 11 a.m. at the funeral home. In lieu of flowers, a family asset donation will be sent to a Medestus hospice in Sylacauga. Memorial messages may be sent to the family at radysmith.com, Radley Smith Funeral Home Directing. And funeral service for Maggie, uh, Maggie Geneva Williams, age 71, of Sycamore, is also today at 1 p.m. from the Chapel of Radley Smith Funeral Home. Brother Rodney Frost officiating burial in the Evergreen Cemetery. Mrs. Williams died Saturday, October 7th at Coosa Valley Medical Center. Memorial messages can be sent to the family at randysmith.com, Randy Smith Funeral Home in Sylacauga, in charge of the arrangements. These obituaries brought to you by Curtis and Son Funeral Home, the North Chapel on Highway 21 in Sylacauga, the Childersburg Chapel on Highway 280 in Childersburg, 256-245-4361. For pre-need, funerals, burials, or cremation since 1975, Curtis and Son Funeral Home, Sylacauga, Childersburg.